Hey, what's going on, everyone? So my name is Britton, and I am the owner and operator of Priority Hauling Junk Removal Service here in Baltimore, Maryland. So I've actually been doing junk removal service for some years. It wasn't until year 2020 that I actually decided, hey, let's create a side business out of this. You got a five by eight utility trailer that's just sitting outside. I might as well put it to use so that way I can supplement my income on the side. What kind of got me here to kind of really consider to start a LLC, I will be able to market my business to bigger businesses and corporations. That's the end goal. Now, for right now, what I'm doing is I'm working with my local residents, also some small business owners to help their business out by providing my junk removal service. I even ran into some, uh, you know, bigger businesses that I've actually inquired for, you know, additional uh contact information such as business cards or business brochures for my business so that way they can stay in contact but i'm in the beginning stages of establishing this business so i'm still going through that process of getting business cards created business brochures as well as business yard signs to advertise my business locally outside of my local perimeter i'm working on establishing a website google ads so that way I can also get my name published out globally. So my long-term goal with my company is to be able to turn this from a part-time gig to a actual full-time business. And once I do become a full-time business, we're just going to scale up from there. But that takes time. Today, I kind of wanted to give you guys a glimpse of the type of utility trailer I'm working with. And just give you a glimpse of a job that I'm doing for Junk Remover. This particular job uh, at the time is equipment uh, such as a uh, carnival uh, activity equipment, big TV, some small items. Right now, I do have junk on my trailer that I have to take to the dump. Just going to have to just move that off the trailer, pick up this load and try to cram it all together. I only have a five by eight utility trailer. It's small, but I'm putting it to use. That's one thing that I, I, I do want to stress to you guys that are trying to start a junk removal business. Use what you have, let your business grow, and then scale up your equipment, scale up your business. Uh, show you guys real quick the utility trailer. Head out to this job, and uh, I'll let you guys know. Stay tuned. This is my Toyota Tundra. It's got a three-inch lift kit, some aftermarket modifications done to the truck that I installed I also have my rough country it's a really nice thick bed liner keep your truck of your bed protected got two hand carts one with rubber wheels and one with you know your standard hand cart wheels and it also has the adjustable Today, I'm gonna bring a trash can just in case. Again, I got my five by eight utility trailer. I gotta get this junk off of here and uh, go pick up a load and then come back and try to cram this back into this utility trailer. Trailer's holding up fairly well. Heading down the back roads to this customer's uh, location. I just arrived to my customer's location. Go ahead and get my back bracing on. Locate the customer and introduce myself. Probably put a hat on. It's kind of cold outside. Nah, can't do that. Probably put this hat on. But uh, stay tuned. Another day. Another dollar, guys. Here playing in the trash. Got these big, big boys, big tanks. Big water tanks, baby. Yes, sir. All right, guys, this is load number two. Yes, that is a big gumball. TV. And, uh,. Swing. Uh, let me get this. Now I'm gonna go pick up the last stuff and I'll be good to go. Home sweet home. The next business day, I gotta take the stuff to the landfill. 
right now i'm trying to you know do my best to if i could find a collector that needs this locally then you know give that to a collector because i'm pretty sure there's got to be somebody that's you know that can definitely uh make use of that um i don't see any labels other than this so it says live alien broadcast that's about it but it's it's a big bubble gum machine so uh, if i can't find a collector that's locally then you know i gotta Okay, get rid of it. Yeah, we got some uh, pretty pretty good load. Uh, as you can see, big screen TV. Uh, this is a uh, fireplace. And uh, we got a little carnival activity here. It's got uh, about, I think it's two to three. Yeah, three horses. Uh, the horses are down here. So those are the horses, the ponies, horse, you know, whichever one you want to call it. Again, that's the fireplace thing right there. Yeah, we got some uh, got some good stuff here. Today was a uh, it was a busy day, an extremely busy day. It took me about two loads. I uh, got another load to go, so three total. But um, man, I tell you, the customer was was wonderful, was very helpful, was very kind to deal with people that's willing to work with you and the time. You know, it's it's awesome. You know, you don't get too many customers like that. So uh, love it, I absolutely love it. There she goes, a little tundra putting her to work 5.7 v8 mother this is a that's a wrap of this video first time actually doing a junk removal quest inside of a mansion okay <laughs> with a full-size professional basketball court uh, we were able to clean up some items inside a basketball court and we were also able to actually shoot some hoops in the basketball court but uh, what made it even more significant to us is that that will be actually the last time that basketball court exists because now the new owner is going to completely redevelop the home so that full-size basketball court is going to be gone that's crazy <laughs> basketball court mansion big mansion you know and we were able to actually be the last people to play ball in that basketball court crazy absolutely crazy that was pretty cool stay tuned for the next video and if you are not a subscriber to my channel please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we are trying to uh, definitely build this channel up. Again, I do have a uh, personal channel, which is about myself, and that's called A Word From Mr. Jones. Again, that channel is A Word From Mr. Jones. People that wanna become business owners and junk removal, you know, they will learn from, you know, my mistakes, you know, my, my positives and my negatives and see how I turn a loss to a win, you know, because in this business, you're gonna, you're gonna underbid yourself. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna have some financial losses. Um, you're gonna end up spending more money than you have to. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna really learn. You're gonna really learn, and that's that's definitely what I'm just taking to heed. That you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some mistakes, you know, but over time I'm gonna learn and I'm gonna get better. So it's all about you know what you put in. You know what you put in is gonna be your long end result so if you put in half that's going to be your long end result half that's what you're going to get you know you put in the full work the true dedication even when you don't see wins you still continue to remain persistent put in the dedication and eventually something's going to pay off you know that's just how life is you know stay tuned guys holla at y'all later i'm going to bed i gotta get up early got another job to do peace